Hi, my name is Guillaume Kins. I'm curator of European art at the Kimball Art Museum in Fort Worth, and I wanted to say a few words about an incredible painting that is part of our flesh and blood exhibition. The show, unfortunately, is closed at the moment because of the uh, COVID crisis. The painting I want to talk about today is by the famous 17th century artist José Pérez Ribera, a painter who was born in Spain but active in Naples, Italy, for most of his life. It depicts an elderly man, barely dressed, wearing a white piece of cloth around his hip and a large red cape on his laps. Um, rock, rocks surround him and he uses one as a table on which one can see a skull and a book. On the ground, you can notice another book and a scroll. On the top right, an angel out of a cloud is trumpeting. Uh, this is the story of Saint Jerome. And Jerome was an important figure in the Christian tradition. He was known uh, for his large culture and his literary skills. And that's why he was asked to translate the Bible into Latin. The episode Rivera chose to paint is very peculiar. It depicts the moment when Saint Jerome was actually spending more time reading profane ancient literature, his passion, than concretely translating the holy text. Suddenly, appearing to him, the angel is calling him to order. Jerome is particularly scared, as you can see, and um, because in the Christian tradition, um, the sound of a trumpet announces the end of the days and therefore the last judgment. Look at his face. He is really freaking out because he realizes that he hasn't completed his sacred job yet. Instead, he was getting distracted and losing time. What happens next? Well, he rushed back to study, of course, and eventually did his translation. The skull is here to remind him and hers that life is short. I think this image is quite eloquent, even today, foremost today. In fact, in our respective home confinements, we are kind of like St. Jerome in the wilderness. Of course, we have to walk from home, but also we are tempted to watch series or to read novels. The most difficult uh, thing, I guess, when you are on your own is self-discipline. Well, let's meditate this example of St. Jerome and admire every detail of this magnificent painting by Ribera his first public commission in Naples, where he became soon the most important and leading artist.